What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It is me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society. It's only been about a month or so since OTR made its triumphant return, and it was right here at Roy Rogers where that occurred. I'm back here to try out yet another limited time offer, this time with a little bit of hot branding. I'll be right back right after this to let you know what Roy Rogers has up its sleeve for you and me. You are looking live at Roy Rogers Restaurant on the corner of Germantown Road and Wisteria in the Germantown Plaza in Germantown, Maryland. Yes, I'm back again after only about a month or so, I guess. It was the last time I was here when I got the Tumbleweed Burger. Of course, there's the Lote Plaza over there. You can see through the rainy, rainy window. Lots of rain and stuff happening in the D.C. Baltimore area in general in the last couple of days and apparently there's gonna be a hurricane coming this way next week but coming to Roy Rogers and actually just coming today is a brand new sandwich uh, chicken sandwich and it's branded with the Texas Pete hot sauce um, branding and it's called the Texas Pete spicy chicken sandwich by Roy Rogers five dollars and nineteen cents for the sandwich or $7.69 for a medium combo with a fries and a soda. I'll tell you about the soda in a little bit. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and open this thing up and show it to you. All right, so what we have here with the Texas Pete spicy chicken sandwich, it's on the bakery style corn dusted uh, roll here. Let me go ahead and open that thing up. Nothing on the bottom, but you do see some oranges orangish sauce rather on there that's called boom boom sauce it's a smoky pepper sauce you got monterey jack cheese on there and that's a hand breaded chicken fillet uh which is dusted or infused rather with texas peat spices so there's no actual texas peat sauce on this but it does have texas peat spices now i was tipped off uh, on this sandwich by somebody last night. I won't reveal my source, but it was mentioned that there would be some Texas Pete sauce on the Fixins bar. I guess they haven't received that yet. Uh, and then I asked for some hot sauce of some sort and they gave me Katie's Kitchen hot sauce. So anyway, it's early in the run of this thing. Maybe they just haven't received all the supplies yet. But anyhow, uh, looks good, smells good. Hope it's nice and spicy. That's what I'm thinking about. All right, guys, let me go ahead and switch perspectives and I'll show you what it looks like in full focus and also taste it, let you know what I think about it. All right, gang, I am back to check out the latest creation by Roy Rogers. Of course, I've been a Roy Rogers fan since I was a child. The very first Roy Rogers restaurant uh, was opened in the 60s uh, in Falls Church, Virginia, which is not far from my hometown of Alexandria. And I definitely ate at that location many, many times before it sadly became a McDonald's back in the late 90s. Like a lot of the Washington, Baltimore area uh, Roy Rogers did thank God for some franchisees with a plan because we now have over 50 Roy's back in the mid-atlantic area and I hear that they're uh, All the way up to New York again, and maybe even coming into Long Island and Queens and areas like that So that's really really cool um, Anyway, let me go ahead and show this to you next to my noggin the way I always do the Texas Pete spicy chicken sandwich Show it to you a little bit more closely there. There you go. There you see that nice, thick, hand-breaded piece of chicken in there. Looking pretty good there, guys. Making my stomach rumble. Let me go ahead and take a bite of this thing and let you know what I think about it. All right, gang. I am back after taking quite a few bites of that Texas Pete spicy chicken sandwich. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not disappointed in this thing. I'll tell you that. I still have a tingling and a little bit of a burn on my tongue as I talk to you now. And that means that the kick was uh, fairly significant. And that's something that's often missing from sandwiches from many places. Uh, you don't get a really true spice. Um, Wendy's does an okay job with a spicy chicken sandwich. It's one of the better ones on the market, in fact. Uh, but it's not quite as spicy as this. 
and part of that might be because of the boom boom sauce but i think it's mainly because it's infused deeply with that um texas peat seasoning in the breading guys i think it's really really in there it's not just sprinkled in it's really a good part of that breading um you know maybe uh not a, i wouldn't say half and half or anything like that but yeah it's there's plenty of it in there uh building this sandwich from the bottom to the top the way i always do that bun is nice and soft has a good bakery flavor to it i like that a lot also the chicken uh, I won't call it a patty because it's a filet. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's a pressed um, creation from a factory, but I don't know. Uh, it seems more like an actual cut of chicken, and that was really tasty and moist. Um, the breading, if I have anything negative to say at all, and it's not really negative, it's just a suggestion, maybe uh, deliver a little more crunch in that breading. Uh, it's not crunchy, not real crunchy, but other than that, it's certainly flavorsome. Moist chicken breast, like I said, good flavor there too. Nice and fresh tasting. Monterey Jack cheese is one of my favorite cheeses, and it blankets this chicken breast wonderfully, um, helping to kind of counterbalance a little bit of the spice a little bit to bring it back down to earth so that you're just like, not like, oh my God, this is so spicy. You're just kind of like, hey, this has got a good kick, and I can enjoy this. Um, the Boom Boom sauce I've had before, it's oftentimes the default sauce of the month at many uh roy rogers locations if they don't have anything else going on significant at any given time and uh you know it's got a kind of a smoky creamy kind of flavor going on you might describe it as a a mac sauce kind of with which uh, you know I, i'm just using that generic term for anything that's like kind of ketchup and mustard based but it's kind of like that, but with a smoky chipotle sort of flavor. So I think some people might like that too. Putting all of that stuff into a package, bringing it back into a sandwich, and computing all of the tabulations and totals and so forth in my mind, I would give this a seven-eighths of a thumbs up, guys. Really, really good. Um, you know, that's about as close to perfect as you can get without actually being perfect. I would have liked to try it with a little bit of uh, Texas Pete because that was my father's favorite hot sauce back when he ate that sort of thing. And it was the first hot sauce that I was introduced to as a child. My dad used to call it Pistol Pete. I didn't know any different because I couldn't read at that point. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, you know, we'll tr we'll check later on and see if they've got that around. Maybe we'll put an addendum on the on the rating if, it, if that kicks it up to 100%. I don't know. Anyhow... Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, love Roy Rogers. So glad that here on, on their 50th anniversary that they're becoming a force once again in the uh, quick service industry. Um, you know, that's something that is needed, a fresher, uh, more home-cooked taste than your McDonald's or even your Wendy's or anything like that. So uh, stop by Roy Rogers if you have one. They're in Virginia, Maryland, West Virginia, New Jersey. They're, they have a big presence, and they're uh, in New York as well. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Check out all the actions of the Snack Society when you can. Um, you've got Pizza Night. you got Breakfast Lifestyle. you got Snack Briefs and more. Just subscribe to the channel to find out all about that. Also, stay tuned right after this show for exclusive Patreon content. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Every week I do a pretty much live-to-tape vlog um, that is presented directly after OTR, and it's exclusive to Patreon supporters. All you got to donate is a dollar, and you get it for a whole month, guys. So that's not bad at all. And also check us out on Facebook. Click on the link in the description down below where that Patreon link is as well, and you can join our group and become one of the coolest people in the world. Why haven't you done that? Also, ladies and gentlemen, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Brandon Reich SAS. When you do that, make sure you use the handy hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. And that way you know what we are eating and we know what you are eating too. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell to be notified. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.